Hey guys, how's it going? So, it is here, Unicorn Week. I am super excited to talk all about this cool stuff. Um, as you're coming in, make sure that you're putting your name in the comments so I can, we can uh, make sure that we are recognizing all of you. Uh, thanks for checking it out as we begin another week. We're on Monday now, right? Monday, March 30th, 2020. We holding strong, guys. Hope everybody is still hanging in there. Um, so uh, the last week's giveaway, everybody should have been notified by now. Uh, if not, check your alerts. Uh, parents, if you're usually on here, you'll see that uh, we tag you in the posts and all that good stuff like that. You, so you should get that. If you are one of the winners, just make sure that you're uh, DMing us all your info. Make sure that you're including like your mailing address, all that good stuff like that. Who we want the signature to be made out to in the book and make sure that we are all getting those things taken care of. Uh, so as you guys start coming in, just make sure that you're putting your child's name into the post so we can make sure that we are up and running. Good deal, glad we see it. What's up Daniel and Emily, how's it going guys? So again, we are taking a second. Emily, what's going on? Let's make sure that we are taking a second to get mindful. We gotta start out Monday the right way and let's get focused on how cool we are, how good we are, how amazing we are, how magical we are, and all those things like this. So we just do what we always do. Set up big and tall kids, put down your paper and pencils if you want parents. You could feel free to do this too because I'm sure by now you need the exact same thing. Just set up big and tall, big breath in. <sighs> just let it out. You could say this to yourself or out loud. Totally up to you. I am smart, I do matter, I am me, and I, am super fantastic. Now remember we say those things because there are times where we can get scared by the things that we see or we think that we can't figure some stuff out or we get really frustrated or mad at ourselves or even mad at other people. It's good reminders just to take a second to get mindful back on ourselves and remind ourselves how super fantastic we actually really are. So what's going on? Okay, everybody's checking in now. So let me say hi to some people. We have Logan and Claire, Sydney, What's going on? Marley, Emily, Logan, Claire, I just said that. Uh, Leah and Kelly, what's going on? Porter and Harper, what's up guys? Good to see you. Willow, Marshall and Piper, what's going on? Addie and Jacob, what's happening? And Layla and Sydney, what's up girls? I hope you're taking it easy on your dad. Um, Sylvia and Vivian, what's going on? Thank you guys for checking this out. And Cece and Tina, Tino, what's happening? Macy, what's happening? So, hey guys, I just want to remind everybody what this week is. You all know what this week is, right? We've been talking about it a little bit, but this week we're really going to hype it up a lot because I have been racking my brain, coming up Nolan and Ava, what's happening? Been trying to think of all different kinds of ways that we can make Unicorn Week all how do I, whoop, all week long. What can we do to make this really, really cool? So we are gonna draw some stuff, we're gonna make some stuff, we're gonna do some things that we've done already in the past, we're gonna find new ways to do those things that we've already done. Just a reminder everybody, my name is Jason Tharp, I am the Chief Creator Dreamer at Wonderville Studios. Kids, what that means is, is I get paid to make stuff up. I dreamed about making all these stories and stuff when I was a kid, and I got to grow up and do it. Took a lot of practice to get there, and that's the whole goal of Wonderville, or Wonderville Studios and Wonder Friends, is to kind of maybe help you guys figure out some ways. If you have some big crazy dream that you want to chase and you're not sure how to get there, here's some ideas that I think that can help you get there. So, Libya, Libby, what's happening? Lydia, Cassius, and Jude. What's going on, guys? Hope everything is going great. If you guys haven't yet, make sure you head over to the website. We have a bunch of downloads on there. I've seen people downloading them all and stuff like that. Love to see some pictures of those things as they come to, as you can start to draw stuff, color stuff, and things like this. Don't forget to share this with your friends and all that stuff like that. And parents, the only thing I'm asking for, this is a completely free show. My only ask is if you take a second to share this video after the end, we can reach more kids, help more kids feel part of something. Uh, that's the goal of Wonder Friends, is really just trying to help other kids see as they're all stuck at home, we're all in the same spot, we can kind of maybe connect friends and all that good stuff like that, see some people from everywhere. So that's really the goal of that. So if you could just take a second once this is over, just share this, 
And uh, yeah, Wonderville Studios, we are in Columbus. We're not too far from the zoo. That's where we uh, are based out. Well, right now we're based out of my living room, but typically we are based out of Columbus. Um, so this week we are talking unicorns, right? And then we're going to talk about one unicorn in particular quite a bit this week. Let me figure out. So this guy right here, his name is Cornelius. And Cornelius is the star of this book right here. It's okay to be a unicorn. So I want to talk to you a little bit about this story. Um, and we're going to draw Cornelius today. But I want to kind of, I figured one of the great ways that we can kind of connect why unicorn is important. If I pick some stuff out of this book and we can kind of talk about it a little bit and then we're going to draw it. So this week we have, we're going to do drawings. Um, I have an idea for a puppet that we can make. We're going to make some unicorn horns. We're going to, you remember when we did the monster chunks? Well, we have a new idea here. I'm going to try to make some canned unicorn magic, right? So we're going to create all these other things and we're going to combine some ideas of things we've already talked about into kind of, kind of creating all these really cool things so you can unicorn up your whole place. So there was one part of this book that I want to talk about. Now, this book here, it's okay to be a unicorn. It starts with an official decree. And what a decree is, this thing right here, a decree is a rule or a law, right? And it means in this particular world, Hoofington, where Cornelius lives, is no unicorns are allowed. Now there's one particular page in this book that I wanna focus on. I'm not gonna read the whole story to you, but I wanna just focus on this one page. Now, Cornelius is known for all his hats. And the mayor has asked Cornelius to make the most un-unicorny hat he can. Now, there are always some things that people say about unicorns. So on this page in particular, it says, As Cornelius worked, he thought about how Huffington's horses were nice to every horse except unicorns. They said lots of mean things about unicorns. Cornelius knew none of it was true, but he never said anything back. And he kept, always kept his big secret hidden under his hat. So, as you can see here, this is what the, the illustration looks like, right? And some things that they said about unicorns were that their horns are too sharp, that all they care about is magic, and that they fart rainbows. Now we know that's all true about unicorns, right? Or is it? Because here's the thing, why would Cornelius hide something underneath his hat? Have you guys ever felt like there was ever a time where maybe somebody said something about you that you didn't think was true or you knew wasn't true. Or maybe somebody made, like, made up a story about you that wasn't true. And sometimes what we do is we hide that part from each other, right? And we think it's a lot easier if we don't let other people see that part of us. We don't have to worry about anybody maybe making fun of us or making us feel bad about ourselves, or we start to tell ourselves the wrong story. So as Cornelius has done, because there's a rule that no unicorns are allowed, what could he be hiding under his big giant hat? Because sometimes he's just afraid, right? All of us are. Sometimes we're all afraid that somebody might say something to us that we know is not true, or say something about us that makes us feel bad about ourselves. And that happens as an adult, it happens as a kid, but what helps is if we start to recognize that none of that stuff about us that other people will say really matters because as long as we understand that we are pretty cool, that's really what matters. That's what we talk about saying to ourselves that I am super fantastic because people will say stuff and that's okay and you let them say stuff, but you understand that that can't be talking about you because you're way too cool for any of that stuff to be true. So make sure you're taking a moment to be kind to yourself. Don't listen to people saying bad things about you because you know that that's not true. You know that you're pretty cool. And as you grow up and you start to believe that more, you're gonna find other unicorns that are gonna be just like you and you won't have to hide all of those things about you that you think maybe makes you different and stuff like that. And you start to believe in yourself more and then you really get to start making magic happen. So I wanna teach you how to draw this guy. He is super easy to draw and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Uh, I draw him on, when I do it, I do it on the computer. So we're gonna be doing it with markers. So it's not going to be 
exactly like this picture, which is completely fine. But we're gonna do our version of it. Uh, and I'm gonna switch over here, guys. Let me get your, you take the moment to get your markers and your paper and all that stuff while I switch over here. And here we go. Okay. Check out this huge marker that I found. Like this thing is massive. So like this is the ones I usually draw with that you guys see. Check out how big this one is. Like boom. I'm not gonna draw with that one, but I just thought that was really cool. Like how I don't think my paper is big enough for all that to fit. So we're gonna draw this guy right here. Now remember, as we always talk about, don't look at things for what they are as a whole. We're going to look at the things that make up the big picture. We're gonna break it down really, really easy. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start with your paper up and down, okay? Really simple, up and down, and we're gonna stick it kind of in the middle, but we're gonna to start towards the top. And you're gonna make an upside down V, or as other kids have told me, it's an A minus the little bridge, right? And you're gonna connect that with a half circle, and I want you to put three lines on it so it's a carrot. All right, now we're going to build everything off of this, okay? Now, on the front side of this, it is a U that is on its side, and I already messed up, but that's okay. So, I hit my side here, and it threw my marker off, and I made it too skinny, but I'm going to roll with it. Mistakes happen. It's pretty cool. No big deal. And what you're going to do on this back side is you're going to make a long candy cane shape that's down just like this. Now, where we stopped right here on this line, we're going to do a little half circle that comes back towards this way and stops. Super simple from here, right? If we look over here at this guy, it just is a straight line that goes down, right? Just like so. Now, for his ears, his ears are really simple. They are the capital letter D, one right here, and on the other side, we're gonna do one that's backwards just like that right now he's got these two eyes and this is where why i said i messed up because this is so skinny now it's hard for me to get in here if you see like he's got a much wider in in the real thing but i'm gonna make this fit so we're gonna draw two circles right beside each other right and put two filled in dots right inside of those okay now he has these big horse nostrils to get those, I want you to pretend if we had like an Easter egg and we broke it in half and we put two halves of those next to each other. So what it is, it's two bumps like this that you're gonna draw straight lines across and fill it in. Just like this, okay? Now, for his teeth, he's got these, he's got some pretty big teeth and you're gonna draw from that original shape that we did, you're just gonna draw one straight line down and we're gonna draw a parallel line. Remember, we've talked about those before. All that is is a line that runs right beside another line and it's gonna run right beside this one and we're gonna put some up and down lines, just like this. Now, for the inside of his mouth, super simple, from the teeth that you made, you're just gonna draw a line down and if you see, he has a tongue in here. It is, all it is is a bump, just like this, and then you're gonna fill in all of the rest of Okay, just like that, right? And he's got like a little bump right here too. So for eyebrows, it's just little half circles that are just above each eye, okay? So here's where I want you to add some magic to yours. So Cornelius has a haircut that's just all these little bumps like this. I want you to give him whatever kind of haircut you want to give him. Give him big, big fluffy hair. You can give him laser hair. You can give him, I've seen kids draw with rocket ships for hair, all that stuff like that. Do whatever you want. I'm just going to do three little... These are the bumps all the way down through here. And this will give him his haircut that I do. And then you can give it any kind of haircut that you would like to give it. And then we're gonna sprinkle some magic on it, which what they are are X's with a line. It's also like snowflakes. If you remember, if you're doing anything, it's like winter time. So some X's with lines, X's with lines, okay? And then you make sure that you sign your name on this. Now, what I would like you to do in this one is we're finishing up this. I want you to, around the empty spaces, what makes Cornelius magical was the fact that he was hiding, like he's in a unicorn, right? He's in a, he's a horse, or a unicorn in a horse world. 
And what made him magical was even though he was afraid to tell everybody what he really was, that he was really a unicorn or he had this big dream to tell everybody he was a unicorn, what made him magical was he believed in himself enough to be brave and tell everybody that that's what he wanted to be. Is he wanted everybody to know I am a unicorn, right? So I want you to write something around here that makes you brave. Has there ever been a time where you've done something that you were really maybe afraid to do or afraid to tell somebody? Like for me, it was like I wanted to be a writer. Now it might not sound like it, but I was super afraid. And a lot of what Courtney, this book was about was about me telling people that I wanted to write stories because I was afraid that maybe I wasn't good enough. And so that was part of it, right? That I wanted to talk to kids. That was another one that I thought was really a big brave moment for me because I wasn't so sure that I knew what I was doing, right? And I was afraid that like, maybe because I had other people tell me I wasn't good at something that maybe I wouldn't be good at doing this. So there are other things. So if there's anything that maybe you didn't think that you can do, maybe it was like you didn't think you could throw a football or maybe you thought you couldn't do a dance move or something, just put around all the different times that you did something brave. And then I want you to kind of think about what it feels like to do something brave and how cool that feels that when you did something scary and then you do it, how awesome that feels. And I want you just to kind of think about that as you do it. And then you can color in the character and you can do all this different stuff like this. But this is a big way of showing you guys, see that even though I make this character all the time, right, that I made a mistake, but I still figured out a way to make it work. It doesn't always have to be perfect. You figure out a way to make things happen, even when you make mistakes. Because mistakes sometimes can be the best part of making art. So, want to see what your Cornelius looks like. And I'm going to switch over to this side here. Uh, here we go. I'm back. All right. Can I slow down? So, Melissa, yes, I know it's too fast. I'm sorry. It is one of those things. So, just so you know, Melissa, they, uh, the videos live on Facebook. So, you can go back. And once they post, once these are over, you can rewind and go back. It's, it's really hard to kind of pace it super slow um, in the video because there's like it, it would make the video go out so long. So what I would kind of do is just kind of go through it and then encourage you to go back to Facebook afterwards. There's a videos um, tab. Click on that and you can rewind and pause. It's also on YouTube as well. Uh, I post these after they're over that the kid can go back and you guys can rewind and all that stuff like that. Uh, Daniel, my favorite color is, let me show you, I actually have it right here. So you see that stripe underneath my name? That's my favorite color. That's why I use that color for, um, I like all different kinds of blue, but that blue reminds me of, like the ocean. I really like the ocean. I think it's super awesome. Uh, Lily and Daisy, what's going on? Good to see you. Thanks so much for checking in guys. So again, if you get, if I went too fast in the video, I know that I go kind of fast on some of them. Uh, just make sure that you go back once it's over and you can rewind and pause and, and all that stuff like that. Uh, it's kind of hard just to uh, go super slow and some like, and try to make this video where keeping everybody interested. So, um, so what we are going to be doing this week is a giveaway a little different. I'm going to, I have two copies I'm going to sign and this is going to be the giveaway this week. We're going to have two big winners uh, that are not only going to get this, but they're going to get a bunch of other stuff too. I'm going to do some drawings in there. I'm going to drop in some, some uh, stickers in there, some bookmarks. It's going to be kind of like a unicorn prize pack of a bunch of different things that are going to go in for two winners this week. And remember, entering the giveaway is super simple. All we need you to do is like the page, share this page, and then drop in the comments for the video that this is in, right? So drop your comments in this video. It's easy to keep track of them. So um, of the wonder work, which this week will be your Cornelius drawing, right? Putting in uh, the brave elements around there. You can color it, you can do whatever you want. If you wanna redo your own new one, you can totally do that too. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to be creating something with cut paper. So we're gonna need like paper, scissors, tape. You're gonna need your colored paper. Again, if you don't have colored paper, markers work great. Uh, we're gonna kind of do like a little bit of a thing together. So make sure that we're, we're uh, 
patient. It's going to be a, maybe a little bit longer because we're going to be making something that's a little bit takes a little bit more time. Again, I'll try to go as slow as I can on it, um, but you know it'll it'll live on so we can keep playing around with that and have a lot of fun. Uh, my favorite sport is baseball. Um, I love to play baseball. Like right now, um, my favorite thing to do is I, I like to like go out and like go outside. Uh, you know, lift weights used to be my favorite thing to do. Right now, we're a little uh, a little restricted on what I can do. But I typically, so I, what I do after I do this video, um, I usually put on my running gear and I go out for a run and I work out in my garage. Uh, and that's what I've been doing after each one of these uh, videos. And um, love all the questions, guys. If you can, uh, if you have questions, feel free to always drop them in the comments or if you want to think of some uh, as you know, tomorrow kicks in, we can do, or if you guys think, you know, let me know in the comments. Do you think it's a good idea to do like a question and answer uh, part of the show? I'm trying to get this so your kids stay engaged, all this stuff like that. Let us know if there are any of those things that we can do for you. So the word for today is believe, right? And believe works really well with unicorns because a lot of times people think that unicorns don't exist. They're not real. Now, just because something doesn't exist like what we picture in our brain, like that there's not really a horse with a big horn, right? But it can b exist inside of us. And what I love about the unicorn, the unicorn's name is uh, Cornelius J. Sparkle Steve. That's his name. Uh, what I love about the idea of a unicorn is it's like our, it represents, right? It stands for our magic. Because a lot of times we forget right? And especially kids, sometimes we get worried about like people thinking that our magic doesn't exist. Or sometimes kids, you know, I know that we can feel like we don't, people don't see us, right? That we're invisible. Sometimes we can kind of just fade in the background like we're just here and people forget about us. But what I love about the unicorn and the word believe is that it can be anything, right? You can believe in your magic because your magic is what makes you special. It makes you the unicorn. So it's believing in yourself that sometimes things are going to be hard. Some things, sometimes things are going to be awesome. Some things, sometimes things just aren't going to go your way. And that's completely normal. Some things in life aren't always going to go your way. Sometimes in life you're going to have to do scary things. Sometimes in life you're going to have to do things you really don't want to do. And then other times everything in your life is going to be going great. But the key to all of it is knowing that what you believe in yourself and you believe in how great you are is what helps you get through those rough times. So that's what the importance of believing in yourself is. Uh, so alien corn and Pegasus, AKA unicorn Pegasus. I like that. That's a pretty cool idea. Um, Jacob's your favorite sports basketball. That's cool. I like, I'm not so good about ba at basketball, but Logan, uh, my son, the one from the father Sunday, he really likes basketball a lot. Um, Kelly, what's going on from Dublin? So guys, I just want to wrap this up for you in a way that just reminds you that the key to happiness is embracing your unicorniness. And I encourage you to go out there, check out this book, uh, It's Okay to Be a Unicorn. Um, you can look at it's okay to be a unicorn.com, wonderfulstudios.com. We have I have like some stuff on there that introduces Cornelius uh, a little bit more. You can always check out the book on Amazon. Um, there are tons of other online retailers that are also selling the book. Um, we have them on our site, which I can like sign them and stuff like that. But again, just really, uh, this story is really important to talk to kids about the importance of embracing your differences, how it's okay to be different. Uh, the story really is something that means a lot to me because when I was a kid, I really wanted to write, but I grew up uh, hearing a lot from, my, from other adults, not my home, but other adults, like teachers and stuff, that I wasn't good at writing, that I wasn't going to be a good writer, that I wasn't going to amount to anything because all I did was draw all over my stuff. I heard this stuff all the time and it grew into an adult, me being afraid to tell the world what I wanted to do. And this is kind of what Cornelius is about. It's based off of that idea of having some sort of secret inside of you that you wished that the world knew about you, but you're really afraid to share. That's what this book means. Uh, I think it's a really important book for other kids to read that will inspire them that even if you're afraid to check something out, 
even if you're afraid to explore parts of your life because other people have said something about it or that you believe from other people saying stuff that it's not true, you can do those things, that people, you have support structures around you through friends, family, things like this, and Cornelius has all of that stuff in this book. So if you wouldn't mind, check out this book. I know the local library has it. I just want to love to see like kids get involved in checking out that book. So tomorrow's supplies, guys, remember, we're gonna have cut paper, tape, uh, scissors, Anything that you can think of that we use for the cut paper illustration, we're going to use for tomorrow. And we're gonna make a, a little bit bigger project, so it may go a little long, and I'll try to go as slow as I can, but we're going to do some just fun, fun project. As always, you can go over to YouTube, check out Wonderville Studios if there's any other things, and there's a lot of other, I think there's like 75 or 80 different drawing videos if your kid is really into that. Remember the Wonder Work? Put in the comments your Cornelius, enter the giveaway. This week we're gonna give away two copies of this sign. It's gonna be like a unicorn prize pack for two winners. All kinds of stuff that's gonna be in there that I'm gonna make sure that they receive some really, really cool stuff. Um, and just check all that stuff out. Go to the website, download the PDFs, share this around. Parents, take two seconds just to hit that share button once this video is over. Let the other kids around that are sitting around, Mary parents are sitting around trying to figure out how do I get an extra 25 minutes for my, to keep my kids busy, to keep them entertained, to keep them interested. Just take two seconds to share. I'm trying to reach as many people as I can with this and I really appreciate that. Um, you're, see, Kelly. Thank you so much, Kelly. I would appreciate the support. Yes, it, the book is really uh, all about embracing our uniqueness. Cece, what's happening? Thanks, thanks, Jen. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, your favorite sport, soccer. I love soccer. Uh, uh, Jen, peppercorn from Unicorn Feeds. Hey, Jen, what's happening? So we're going to be talking about this awesome store on Wednesday that is really, really, really cool. So I, I'm excited to talk to you about that too. Um, so guys, appreciate everything. Remember, the key to happiness is embracing your unicornius. Even though we can't get out today, you certainly can sprinkle your magic on somebody else's day. Maybe make a picture for them, text them, FaceTime them, just pick up the phone, call somebody, or even put a cool note out in your front yard or do some chalk on your sidewalk to help other people remember that even though we're stuck inside, that we have a lot of magic still to give and we can sprinkle our magic on somebody else's life. That's called the unicorn effect. Go out, be the unicorn, have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow at 11. Bye.